A bam and welcome everybody to Dolly Wars Auto Tactics. Uh, this is a game where we're gonna have a bunch of people fighting a bunch of other people. You know, you know the kind of style. Uh, so we are up against a whole load of uh, boxing, boxing chickens. Uh, we've got some units of our own. Boxers, hockey masks, uh, vi Vikings, Phalanx, Barbarian, the Vampire. Do you just want to start out with boxers? They have six boxes. I have six bucks. We could have six boxes. Let's see how. Let's see how that goes. Okay, they've kind of got on a bit of a surround. Wait, are their boxes just better than my boxes? Did we even kill a boxer? <laughs> okay, apparently not there. Let's try. Let's try upping the ante here. Bomb guy. When is bomb guy ever going to be bad? A boomerang thrower? Yeah. Okay, just have one of them at the back. And a pirate. So in the dream world, <laughs> we, we did it. First win, I'll take it. Uh, nice. Okay, real good. The enemy's approaching, cowboy. Uh, successful shots from the cowboy can push back enemy units, allowing them to neutralize slow, short range defensive targets with ease. Okay, we've got seven bucks. So I need fast, fast people. You know, I'm always just curious to see how that mirror match works out. I'm just hoping that my guys would get a couple of the early shots off, putting us in the lead immediately. Oh my God, the Cowboys are doing pretty good. It's close. How do we not win that? Bomb guy. Okay, the pirate has apparently a long range attack as well, so. I just don't want them to get too involved. Uh, it's a great start. Bomb guy, probably a, a red hot favorite of mine to begin with. And cowboys are kind of doing pretty good. You'd have thought that those little flintlocks not going to be as strong against a six shooter, but turns out very strong. Just, just do something like that. I'm just curious to see how how much work bomb. Bomb guy did just fantastic. Bomb guy feels very strong already. Uh, that guy's slow. He is not having a good day. Have we just found the the win? Is it bomb bomb guy and pirates? The classic duo. Vikings being the fastest unit. Uh, Vikings charge head on towards our opponents. Look, we'll just try it with like a few pirates. Uh, ooh, okay, bomb guy, bomb guy has uh, definitely dropped off in power. Okay, we've got, we, we've run into bomb guy based problems. Why only have one bomb guy when you could have three bomb guys? Ninjas have the furthest striking distance of any other unit, really? Okay, well, uh, pretty good, just more bomb guys. More bomb guys is more good, and then the ninjas, man, worked really well. I guess Vikings, not used to fighting a ninja. We confuse people? Sure. Okay, well that was definitely a bad, a bad start. I thought we'd do more of a charge-based attack. And my wizards are never gonna make it into range at this rate. Okay, okay, I see. I see what's happening here. Sure, we've got one buck left, have a boxer as well. Okay, the Vikings made it in very quickly, and wow, they dealt with that. They dealt with those problems. Good job. Flawless victory. Pirate. Effective at short and long range. They do a slow. How do you feel about bombs, my pirate pirate friends? Quite like those ninjas. You know, just something just to be plinking. Plinking from the back. Uh, blammo. And then there's no way this guy makes it into combat. I'm just, I'm just gonna, just gonna call it. Assassins, using their special technique, will teleport behind the most uh, valuable enemy unit. Bomb guy? Ninjas? <laughs> okay, that was a fast round. That was a real fast round. Um, I didn't even have a chance to zoom in. So they just instantly TP'd to the bomb and blew themselves up. Necromancers, using their special technique, will resurrect the dead from nearby. Uh, turn them into zombies. Uh, their death beam have a chance of inflicting a curse. 
Let's see how the bomb, the bomb works. Uh, we'll give him a couple of bombs, why not? And then... Just ninjas? Ninjas versus zombies? Okay. Right, I have just fed them a whole load of dead bodies. But... Death Beam, probably not coming into range anytime soon. Take that. Oh man, bombs. So good. Hockey Blast dollies may look slow-witted. Uh, from the sight of them wildly swinging their axe. Uh, but after having taken down the enemy, they get into a crazed state, increasing both their movement and attack speed, as well as attack power. That's a cool style of unit, so they have to get kills before they can do anything. And then, who are you? Ninjas. Interesting. Maybe, like, an assassin to, like, get in there and just cause a bit of... a bit of chaos. Uh-oh. We have buffed their boys. Now it's Ninja Wars, and they have more ninjas than I do. Oh, and they actually had a boy as well. We are... falling behind. Oh, I think we just trade. Trade one guy. Oof. Barbarian. Deals damage to all surrounding enemies. Sounds perfect. Okay, Barbarian. He's doing great. He is not doing great. Okay, that did not go well. Although we outnumber their ninjas, they've got a whole load of boys. Not a good fight. What about an elite gunner? We've not even seen those yet. Okay. Uh, elite gunners. Are you gonna fire? They... Fired? I don't know if uh, they were doing all the... All the work I could have hoped for. About one shield bearer. And the bomb guy. Does that buy us enough ninjas? Okay, that's a good looking start. Bad start. We definitely need a second... A second, uh, bomb in there. Hmm... Yeah, we're just into a... One behind fight. Oh, wait. How did we... Are they missing? Wow, how did we win that? Okay. Turns out sometimes less people is more good. Vampires recover HP whenever their blade attacks hit its mark. They can inflict charm. Ooh, causing people to switch sides. Hate the sound of that. Uh, okay, well that's, <laughs> that's maybe not the best start. Depends how tough these vampires are. Turns out, very tough. Too tough. Especially if they're healing up. It's hard to know like how much health they actually have, but it's it's a fair old it's a fair old amount. Okay, I liked the opening the opening bomb, but I feel like we want a reserve bomb. And the ninjas they weren't doing the business. So maybe just even more pirates. Okay, bad. Bad. Bombs are in my midst. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what? The pirates are actually pretty solid versus the vampires. Because they've got the knockback effect. And they slow them <laughs> with just all of those balls and chains. Wow. Okay. Right, we've learned a good counter to a vampire. Which is a pirate. Never would have thought, thought that was the case. Boomerang throwers. Able to damage multiple targets with their attacks. Also have a chance to inflict silence. Okay, well I hate the idea of losing my amazing silence powers. Right, I've got a feeling maybe this is the time to crack out a necromancer. If they've got a whole load of just goons. Uh, how a couple of bombs. Maybe the necro doesn't even want to be that far back. Let's just protect my necromancer with some... Some axe murderers. Okay, good start. Okay, getting the curses out. Right, how tough can they be? Oh, we've got some zombies. Oh, we've got zombies. Okay, zombies probably not great versus the boomerang, but I feel like this strat worked pretty well. I feel like that was a pretty good... a pretty good play. 
Okay, shield bearers. Shield bearers just very tough, and they've got axe guys. And you know what? The ninjas were actually pretty good versus uh, when I tried to use shields. Uh, okay, the bombs did not stop the shields. But this is just a real gun line. But it's more of a shuriken line. Which is going fairly well. And last boy. Excellent. Take that. Oh, we got him. We just don't use their special technique. Can damage enemy units over a wide area, as well as inflict confusion. They have vampires and magicians. We got a lot of points today. Do we just get a lot of, a lot of pirates? I feel like I want to get a couple of assassins in there as well, just to cause a bit of carnage. And, you know, have a little group of, group of ninjas. Uh, okay. I killed so many of my own boys. But luckily, the pirates are just going ham all over the place. Sadly, they're kind of getting taken down. Uh-oh. Okay. The ninjas have better range than the wizards. And you know what? That really paid off. Wow. Gandalf couldn't fight a ninja. Barbarians. And they go out whirling their axes, deal all surrounding enemies. They become more powerful if they're able to hit multiple units in one strike. Uh, they become temporarily stunned after performing their special ability. Okay, I think I want a couple of these... these boys. And then let's just get a bunch of pirates. Maybe a whole load of ninjas. Wow, we just have more points. Sure, one cowboy as well. Okay, maybe uh, they did kind of just warn me against bringing the horde. Oh. That went terribly. <laughs> that went so badly. Okay, maybe we need to be going bigger. Bring like the vampire. Maybe get a magician in there. Heck, what about a necromancer? And I might have some corner bombs. Just see how that works out. And then just bulk it out with ninjas. Okay, the, if the flanks... Flanks did pretty well. Okay, the vampire is doing okay. We've got some zombies, which actually is terrible versus the berserkers. Uh, but... If we can get them... Stunned... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is kind of working. Uh-oh. Wait, there's two more. And they are gonna do pretty good versus... Pretty good versus my hordes of zombies. Okay. Oh, we made a mini! We shrunk him with our wizard powers! I'll oh, take that. Real nice. Great work. The enemy's approaching bomb guy. Uh, dashes towards people, does bomb stuff. Honestly, absolutely fine. Because I think we just throw down like two of... Two berserkers. Or two of the Vikings. And then everyone else can be a ninja. And I think they all kill themselves. And then it's necromancers versus ninjas. The classic, the classic duel. Yeah, you know, you want to take out a necromancer? That's right, you send your hit squad of like 12, 12 ninjas to take them down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're doing it. Santa Claus. Santa Claus throws presents towards nearby units, regardless of their friend or foe. When these presents open up, they'll grab buffs. The luck, regen, haste, or curse, poison, and slow. Okay, I feel like the... Who was it? Like an assassin in there? Just straight away. And then some bombs. And then we just have, you know, horcruxes, which are our ninjas on the back. Okay. Uh, Blamo. There's one Santa. And Christmas has come early. Uh, my guys are missing a lot against the moving target. Okay, what do you do? Oh, we got lucky. Uh, we got unlucky. We're cursed. 
uh, sadly, Santa, ninjas do not abide by Christmas law. Elite Gunner. Elite Gunner shoot out an energy beam, uh, which can pass through walls, causing damage to all targeted enemies. So as restoring health to friendliness. Wow. However, charge time is extensive. Furthermore, they cannot move from their position. And if they take damage, the charge time will be reset. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, well, this seems like a fairly easy mix. We have a pair of bomb guys, and then... Like, just some assassins. I hope they're close enough to actually get in there and do an assassination. And then just some ninjas. Okay, great. So we instantly... Wow, we instantly just assassinated a lot of their big fellas. Most of their boys are dead, and it's one boxer who... is dead. Blam! We did it! That was the introduction campaign. Pow! Dolly Wars! Auto Tactics! Uh, so yeah, uh, you can play this game for free right now. Um, and honestly, pretty cool! I like the, uh, I like the mix-up in sort of the, the style. Yeah, we played, um, played other games like this before, and, uh, this is pretty, pretty rad. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Until next time, everybody! <gasps> See ya!